If you have, just one or two cuts to make, and don't want to invest in a cutting tool, bend the MC cable sharply until the armor pops open, and then use that opening to start the cut with side cutter pliers. You only need to nip cut through one section in the armor. This method will leave a jagged edge that will need to be trimmed after the armor is separated, and the cut ends of the MC cable will be sharp, so be sure to wear gloves. If you have a lot of cuts to make. A rotary cutter works best for MC cable. Cutting the armor without damaging the wires is probably the trickiest part of working with MC cable. The best method is to use an armored cable rotary cutter. This tool uses a small cutting disc, powered by a hand crank and will cut only through the armor, leaving the wires undamaged every time. You can attach a connector to MC cable, then join it to the box, but it's easier to mount the connector on the box before feeding the wires through. Connectors like those shown above are popular with electricians because the one screw secures both the connector to the box and the MC cable to the connector. There should be a minimum of 6 to 8 inch of exposed wire inside the box. In order to protect the conductors from damage caused by the sharp ends of the cable, plastic anti-short bushings are used. Even if the connector you're using has its own bushing, make sure to add a bushing like the one shown here. It's a cheap and easy way to achieve an extra level of protection. Some manufacturers supply a bag of anti-short bushings when you buy the cable, or you can buy a pack for a couple of dollars. When removing a section of armor to expose the wires, twist the short end of cable counterclockwise as you pull the cable apart. If it feels like it's taking too much pressure to separate, double-check that the cut went all the way through the armor. Don't pull too hard or the armor could separate farther down the line. That's a problem because damaged armor shouldn't be installed, and you'd have to start over. Make sure the box is grounded. Whether it's the first box in a line, or the only one on an entire circuit, every metal box needs to be grounded. Grounding a box is as simple as connecting the incoming and outgoing ground wires to a pigtail, and then connecting the pigtail to the box with a grounding screw. Secure the MC cable, with clamps, such as these single hole straps, that make it easy to provide sturdy support. Avoid connecting them with nails, or you'll risk smashing and damaging the cable with a hammer. Install a strap within 12 inches of each box. All subsequent straps need to be within 6 feet of each other. When you're routing cables, be sure to avoid sharp bends that could damage the cable sheath or the conductors. Stay tuned to this site, as I will be diving into more information on electrical installations. In the meantime, take advantage of the availability of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets, if you haven't already downloaded them. These are extremely valuable while viewing my courses, as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. Simply fill out the information requested, when you go to this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase bit, dot, ly, forward slash, 4, 7, uppercase y, uppercase b, 3, lowercase v and lowercase h. As I said, Stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more on my courses. You can also directly access my stand store courses at this website. https colon forward slash forward slash lowercase stan dot store forward slash uppercase g uppercase v uppercase b.